Hi there, what's up? My name is Vishal from my web and in this video, we are going to set a front end validation before submitting this form. Because as for now, as you can see, when I click on the add address button, it's automatically saved the blank blank data in our database. But it's not a good way to do, do this. So how can you solve this issue? Let's see. So welcome back. So I'm again going back to my code editor. Okay. And and in in this form we have I, I take your ID which is my address form set so address form and I copy this copy this ID name and again going to the, to the bottom of the page and I start my script tab okay and I start my jQuery functionality using document dot ready function. And I make a selector for my address form. So hash is my address form. Okay. And if I submit on it, okay. If I submit on it, then it again run a function with a specific event. Okay. Because when I'm run, uh, taking this event variable at here in this function, because I want to prevent from the automatic submission in on the page submit. Okay. So event, sorry, my bad event dot prevent from default by default. Okay. And for the checking this thing, let's take a alert message that way it's working fine. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it's working fine. Let's save and refresh and I click on add address now it says it's it's working fine without uh it's not submitted that form uh note that one point okay uh when you go back to your form tag and I still have this add address action dot php so for the now I just uh okay I said leave it for the now because when we working on the ajax code we will remove this okay now I just remove this and let's validate sorry let's validate our form okay now again i'm taking a selector sorry uh, selector mm, dollar as my address form and i take the input and comma my select field to sorry okay on like now uh, on the each fold i need to run your loop so i take the each loop each and then i run a function okay for for, uh, for the testing purpose, I just print this in my console. So print I'm in the console dot log dollar mm, and this mm, you can also check with the value for the now. Okay, just save and refresh. And I open a console. And in my console, when I click on the add address, it says null. So I just shall or yeah and this is my phone number this is my email id uh let's test something else okay this is not a good way to new delhi uh state name and this is delhi and let's set a country name to india now we have all my data at here that you can see the vishal moria and this all input fields at here okay so i said i just comment this line because I just write this for the testing purpose. Okay. Now I take a variable which is the let is valid equals to true. Okay. If I just copy this, uh, okay. I take a, this variable. This functionality for taking the data from the object 
this dot value and I trim to this okay so I just take a trim function and if it's equal to blank why I'm writing this I'm writing this for the requirement not this is for not taking sorry not taking blank values so each valid the value of each valid becomes of true sorry false and and copy this and I add a class sorry my bad I add a class and when you go to the bootstrap uh, website and you can when you check this uh, in validation of this input form so here it works as a fallback uh, uh, note that uh, point number four as a fallback is invalid let me uh, jump it as a fallback is invalid and is valid classes may be used instead of the pseudo classes for server side validation okay so I, I uh, add a class which is dot sorry uh, is invalid okay else I remove this class okay this is the basic uh, this is the uh, very basic fun, uh, fundamental to do that I just remove this class if our uh, our input field is not blank okay and also I do one thing let's see in the drop down menu of this uh, country I just selected I remove this disabled and set a blank value okay let's save and again I just refresh my page when I click on the add address as you can see I, I get a uh, invalid classes in my input fields and I don't need to write any email error or something else okay because I don't want to do that so if I type the Vishal and when I click on the add address, the error is gone. Okay. The phone number. Okay. But if I type the in, uh, string in my, phone, in my phone number add address, it's also gone, uh, which is not a good way. Okay. Because I also want to validate this phone number, the email and the pin code also. Because if I type this add address, it's also gone. So how can you validate this uh, uh, three fields? And again going back to my code i mean my script tag and after this this is my for our required fields this level did our form and this is for mm -hmm. let's add invalid class okay okay this is for the or uh, not taking the blank values mm. I remove this uh, comment for the now okay okay before that I need to run a function okay validate field validate field okay because I want to I, I need to work on the three fields so I take a single function for this so I just const dollar field equals to dollar our selector okay and I take a selector and this uh, that will be my selector and this is my pattern okay so const field equals to my selector after that if it's not my pattern sorry my bad if my pattern doesn't test I mean doesn't ma match with our, our field value okay then my age valid value will be false and dollar field another field uh, I, I add a class which will be this like this 
this is my add class i just copy this and i paste it over here else i copy this okay i just copy this and paste it over here and i just remove this class a simple thing okay Um, validation function okay what do we need to solve my first issue the first issue is my phone number so i am change my line i write a comment validate my phone number okay and i take a variable the const mm, yeah phone pattern okay I take a phone pattern to slash uh, this one after that uh, backslash and I take the digits digits as my should be equals to 10 okay and I close this yeah this is my phone pattern phone pattern okay now i'm going to again uh, i call this uh, function at here validate and my uh, id name is phone and i copy this phone pattern at here just save now let's refresh and when I can click on this add address and if I type the string and I click on this add address it's still showing me this phone number uh, error okay if I type the uh, 10 digits and you click on this add address it's gone okay if I remove this it is still showing me this error okay so it's good it's good now I'm going to write for my uh, email pattern so I just copy validate my email uh, I type the email pattern the email pattern and for the email pattern you can all uh, you can check the description I, 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 I will give this uh, uh, pattern in my code I just copy I just copy from my another code editor because I I write down I write, uh, write down already in my uh, project it's my email pattern as copy if you didn't get it, didn't get this uh, email pattern, you easily pause this video, write down in your code. Otherwise, I will give this in my description too. Uh, and for the more details, you can easily go through my GitLab ID. Okay. So this is my email pattern, and also, mm, I just copied this, and I just validate my pin code. It's my pin code and this is my pin code pattern let's copy this and we need digits and only it should be five or six okay uh what is the id name of the, my pin code let's see hmm state name pin code yeah id name is still pin code the same okay i also if my age valid variable is not true okay then it should be written okay it will stop working on next code sorry next code if my all if my any validation okay if my any validation will fail okay save and 
refresh now okay because if i type uh, and also print a console log my next upcoming code save and refresh okay as you can see it's not i am not getting any console message if i click on add address it's still not showing any console message if i pass some required uh, values mm -hmm. okay two three four five six seven eight nine ten add address um, mm, is there oh sorry uh this is my phone uh this is my email yeah sorry my bad refresh okay when i shall okay now that the email you shall at gmail.com address one address two the city name will be new delhi the pin code will be just some random okay i still got this error because we we need to put two more okay if i type this again because you also take the digits of the five to six values as you can see at here in my pattern it's uh i can take the five or otherwise i can all i can also accept the five or six okay if you will did this only only for the six you just remove this and put it the six okay for the nice for the name state name uh will be delhi and once i select the indian when i click on add address now my my console message is to my next upcoming code okay what will be in my, in my next upcoming code at here as you can see in my my next upcoming code we are working on the ajax uh, ajax method where we send my our address address form data using the ajax and and we are working on the address section dot php page where, where we can also working on the uh, backend validation for the more security purpose okay after that uh, once we got uh, submit that uh, submit that address we will also, also take the data from the backend using the jquery also because i don't want to reload this page multiple times whenever i whenever i try to click on this because there is no there is no uh, easy way i mean not a good way if you are already using the jquery then why did you reload your page so let's see in the next video till then save me happy coding